guys to my channel Mona Pecas de la Cruz and our topic for today is all about the new grading system for school year 2020 and 2021 so when you watch this video you will be having your e-class record template with automatic transmutation okay so napapanahon nito ngayon dahil uh, mayroon tayong bagong grading system wherein wala tayong periodical test. So, if you want to have a copy or if you ha want to have the soft copy of this template of class record, a uh, link can be found from the description down below. So, click nyo lang yung link and then automatic matadownload nyo na ito. Okay? And then, uh, please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, click the notification bell down below and of course, subscribe if you are just new to my channel okay so first of all we are going to compare the old and new grading system Yan, kasi syempre nasa new normal tayo ngayon so first this is the i will be presenting to you the old grading system that is based on the DEPET Order number 8, Series of 2015. Ayan, so, meron tayong grade level 1 to 10. So, as you can see, the compo we have 3 components. So, yung 3 components na ito ay itong written work, performance task, and quarterly assessment. So, per subjects, magkakaiba ng percentage allotment. So, let's say for example, sa English or sa language, and araling panlipunan as well as the edu education sa pagpapakatao. So, sila yung uh, magkakapareho ng percentage per component. Okay? So, 30% sa written work, performance is 50%, and quarterly assessment is 30%. Wherein, sa science, sa science and math, we have 40% for the written work, 40% for the performance task, and... 20% for the 20% for the quarterly assessment. While in MAPI and TLE or EPP, 20% for the written work, 60% for the performance task, and quarterly exam assessment is also 20%. So, all in all, if you get the total of this, uh, you'll end up with 100%. So, this is the old grading system eh, for the grades 1 to 10. While in grade 11 and 12 for the senior high school, we have we also have three components. Uh, same lang din dun sa uh, uh, grade 1 to grade 10. So, written work, performance task, and quarterly assessment. So, we have, uh, we call it core subject. Ayan. So, yung core subject na yun, yung mga nakapaloob doon, ang written work nila is performance sa uh, is equivalent to 25% while performance task is equivalent to 50% and quarterly assessment is 25%. While with the academic track, all other subjects under academic track uh, all other subjects under academic track uh, 25% written work, 45% for performance task quarterly assessment is equivalent to 30%. While, and again, under academic track, now, uh, work immersions, research, business enterprise, and simulation exhibits, and performance, so 35%, 40, 40%, and 25%. While in technical, vocational, and livelihood, or the known, or known as the TVL, sports, and arts and design track so eto po sila, so meron silang 20%, 60% and 20%, so all in all kapag kinuha natin yung total neto is equivalent to 100% okay so yun yung old natin, old grading system, so dito naman sa, sa slide natin we have here the new grading system. So, for grades 1 to 10, dalawang components na lang. So, makikita nyo the written work and the performance task. So, wala na yung quarterly assessment or the periodical test. So, sa English, araling panlipunan, 
edukasyon sa pagpapakatao, we have 40% for the written work and 60% for the performance task. While in science and math, uh, written work is 50% and performance task is 50%. While in MAPI and EPP or TLE, in written work, we have 30% and 70% for the performance task and all of this having a total of 100%. Okay? While in grades 11 to 12, which is the senior high school, ganun din. So, nawala lang si quarterly assessment. So, sa core subjects, meron tayong 40% and 60%. So, sa academic track, Okay? So, makikita nyo sa all other subjects, we have 40% and 60%. While in work immersion, research, business, enterprise, simulation, exhibit, and performance, we have here 50% and another 50% for the performance task. While in tech book and livelihood, as well as sports, arts, and design track, so pareho na yung all other subjects and work immersion, research, exhibit, and performance task. So, pareho silang may 30% na written work and 70% for the performance task. Okay, so all in all, kapag tinotal ito, you'll end up having a 100%. So, again, this reading system is based from the new uh, DEPED order number 31, series of 2020. Okay, now, we uh, I will be presenting with you a sample of a computation for design subject. Okay. Yan. So, as you can see here, dun sa template na makukuha ninyong soft copy, you have to first click the encoding and this is where you can encode all the informations with uh, the profile of your school as well as your grade and section and your uh, the name of your pupils. And then, after filling it up, Go to uh, click the quarter one signs tab. So you will be directed into this kind of tab. So dito nyo makikita si written works as 50% and performance tasks na 50%. Okay, so as you can see, meron dito ang highest possible score. Kailangan lagyan nyo yan. So automatic po yan na lalabas. So as you can see, uh, based sa memo natin, so, nakalagay ay 50% for the written work and 50% for the performance task. Okay? Ayan. Now, so, while you encode scores, automatic na lalabas na si total percentage score and weighted average for the written work. So, same as with the performance task. So, naka-automatic na po siya. Hindi na kayo may hirapan mag-compute uh, pa. Okay? And of course, once na ma-encode ma nyo na lahat ng uh, details na iyan, automatic na lalabas na si initial grades and quarterly grade. Okay, so, ito na nga po. So, lalabas dito sa dulo yung initial grade which is 90%. So, Sa ating grading system, meron tayong tinatawag na transmutation table. So, dapat ang lalabas dito sa ating quarterly grade na 93 ay supposed to be dapat based sa ating transmutation table na uh, naka-base din siya sa DEPED Order number 8 series of 2015. So, eto po siya. So, from 93, may kita nyo, eto po yung uh, Appendix B na may kita natin dun sa sinasabi nating memo, which is yung 88.80 to 90.39 ibig sabihin, pasok yung 90.0 na grade na ito. Kaya, naging 93 yung quarterly grade ng bata natin. So, ganun po yung basis ng pagbibigay natin ng quarterly grade. So, yun po. Next po natin gagawin ay yung actual demonstration on how to use the E plus record template. Ito na po yung actual demonstration natin. So, again, dito sa encoding part, dito tayo mag encode ng mga informations natin like the region. Ayan, region. So, from division, from what division are you in? 
So your school name. Yan. And then your district. Kung anong district kayo kabilang. As well as with your uh, school ID. So obviously, school 2020 and 2021 ang ilalagay natin. Section is, say for example, ayan. Okay. Para automatic na itong lalabas dun sa printout. Uh, dun sa next natin na gagawin. So, ayan. And then, so kapag tapos na yan, let's go to the quarter 1 tab. Okay? So, as you can see, andito na lahat yung in-encode nating informations na kailangan natin. So, again, uh, so, una nating i-encode is the highest possible score for the activities of your pupils. So, as you can see, automatic na nagbabago yung score dito. Or yung total na rather. Same as with the performance task na component. So, for the sake of the demonstration, I will just uh, put or encode random numbers. As you can see, automatic siyang nagbabago or lumalabas. Okay? So, dito, ayan. Okay? Ayan. So, eto na siya. So, dito po, makikita natin na yung lumabas, etong lumabas dito sa quarterly grade ay based na po ito dun sa transmutation table na inilabas dun sa memo, depth memo number 8 series of, uh, series of 2015. Okay? So, I hope makatulong ng marami ito sa ating mga kaguroan and I hope magamit po ninyo ito at again, pwede nyo pong itong i-share sa iba. So, yun lamang po at maraming salamat.